All right, number 17. Let's read your instructions to Bible 17. It says, write an equation of the circle, giving the coordinates. Smart, let's focus on the center and the radius. And now we're going backwards. So, look, guys, if they're giving you the center, all you have to do is flip your signs and put them back where you got them from. So it would be x plus 1 squared plus y plus 5 squared, because you got to flip the sign, equals what, Hunter? You gotta go backwards like you said. Okay, this is because uh, so you weren't three. listening. Four? Four. Okay. All right, look, guys, y'all don't have to write down anything but the answers on these six problems. All right, tomorrow I'll show you on the next one, okay? There's no room. All right, like I said three times, oh, get out I'm a sheet sorry, of paper. I'm sorry. If you need paper, I got some up here on my desk. And we're going to do a lot of these problems. Uh, the back is new stuff. We'll do that after the quiz tomorrow. We're just going to do some of the front today. All right, Samara, you ready? I'm going to show you again. Yes, sir. To write my answer, all I have to do is flip these signs. So, guys, on the zero, you can just leave that x squared. You don't have to write x plus zero. So it's x squared plus y minus 3 squared, because I had to flip the sign, equals. What number goes on the right side of the equal sign? 49. 49, just squared. Those are easy. All right, y'all do 19 and 20 the same way I did 17 and 18. I might have to help you on 21 and 22. <laughs> All right, looking at 21 and 22. Samari, try to help me on 21. What's going to do? What's well, going to go in the first parenthesis? All you do is flip your sign. So it'll be x minus 0.5 squared. That was easy. All right, what goes in the second parenthesis? Again, just flip your sign. y minus 0.7 squared equals. Now, how do we find the number that goes right here? We square that number. I have no idea what that's going to be. That's going to be 182.25. 182.25. Yes, All right, Samar, you see how we got that number? All right, so y'all should be able to do 22 just like we did 21. I know the numbers are crazy, but it doesn't matter. You just put them where they're supposed to go. All right, so what goes in the first parenthesis? It's going to be x minus, x minus root 2. Okay, what goes in the second parenthesis? It's going to be y minus 3 root 7 squared. 0 0.0625. How did y'all get that? Square. Square that number to 0.0625. All right, I thought those were really easy. All right, we're going to slide down now. We're going to do 41, 42, and 43 before I let y'all do some of the stuff you already know how to do. All right, so we're going to 41. Everybody good here? Wait. Okay. All right, look at 41. 40. All you got to do is look at it and just write an answer, guys. Not a lot of work to show. You don't have to draw the graph or anything. 41 says write an equation of the graph. Well, before we write an equation, we've got to know what the center of the circle is. Can you guys look on the graph and find the center? Over 2, down 1. Y'all see that? Y'all agree? Over 2, down 1 is my center. And if you got the center, you can start writing your equation. What goes in the first parenthesis? X minus, X minus 2 squared. What goes in the second parenthesis, Ashley? Flip your side. Y plus 1 squared. First block understood that. They had a little trouble finding the number on the right side. So let me show you. What is the radius of this circle? If you counted from here to here, two, two, two. two. So two. The radius is two, square that you get four. That's all you do when you look at the graph. I thought those were pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna help, I think I had to help with 43. No, I got 42 up here. You guys try 42, find the center on your own, and then I'll help you write the equation. All right, Pat, what's our center on 42? Can you count it? You can look, guys, if you look, you can see there's a, a dot. It's really light, but it's there. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, one, one. 
Negative one, up one. So negative one goes first, then positive one, because you go x-axis first. All right, so what goes in the first parenthesis? That's easy. x plus one squared, y minus one squared. Now, let's count the radius on this one. One, two, three, four. It's four from there to there. Squared is 16. This is all you have to write down on those. Anybody have a question on 41, 42, or 43? All right, y'all can do 43 on your own. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna help you guys do 31 and 38, and I'm gonna stop and give y'all something to work on by yourself, okay? And y'all can help each other. All right, so everybody go to 31 now. Probably need to write this one down on your paper. If you wanna write it down and go ahead and group them, that would be best. 31, when you write it down, let's go ahead and group them. All right, so look, this one was a little bit different, so I thought I'd show this one. I got my x squared, but look, I gotta bring negative 14x all the way over. What, what happens to it? Change, it? Change it to positive, and then you still got your box. All right, next, you got y squared plus 6y, you still got your box. All right, negative 50 is there. And now you do it just like we've been doing. All right, Luke, help me on the first one. What's going to go in the box? Uh, Half of 14 is 7. Square that some more, you get 49. So it's plus 49 there, plus 49 there. All right, Ashley, help me on the next one. Half of six. No. Square it. Nine. So plus nine there and plus nine there. A lot of people said six this morning. They thought three squared. They weren't thinking, but you can look on the board three squared tonight. All right, so getting close. All right, Hunter, what goes in this first parenthesis? Plus seven, or X plus seven. X plus seven. Second parenthesis. Y plus three, and if you add this up, I'm guessing 58. All right, so Hunter. That's a negative 50, so it's just eight. Ah, uh, you're right. Sorry. Appreciate it. All right, Hunter, center. Oh, negative 46. 46. Negative 46. Center. Negative 46. What's the center? Negative 46. Oh, negative 7. Negative 7, negative 3. And how do we find the radius? What do we do? Anybody remember? Square. Take the square root of 8 and make it a decimal for me. So I got 2.8. Because if you graph it, you're going to need to know what the decimal is. So the other problems I'm about to give y'all is just the same stuff that y'all been doing now for a little while. So I'm going to do one more with you. I'm going to do 38. Or are you guys good? Yeah, we're good. Y'all good? All right. Your assignment is for the remainder of class. If you want me to do 38, I will, but your assignment is, I got it up here somewhere, complete problems 32 through 39. Y'all can help each other if you need to.